Welcome to the OC Varsity Top 10. I'm Jonathan Gamis. All right, let's kick off this show with the debut of doubles tennis. This lobbing shot looks like a sure point, but CDM makes a great attempt to keep it alive. At number nine, a dual meet between South County rivals Mission Viejo and Capistrano Valley. Both boys and girls Diablo teams defeated the Cougars in relays, hurdles, and races. The Ocho spot is reserved for junior Mark Jensma of Aliso Niguel as he nearly accomplishes one of the hardest tasks in any sport, a hole in one. Oh, but he's just a little short. No problem, a birdie is nothing to be ashamed about. At number seven, time to get wet. The top two teams in the county, Corona Del Mar and Capo Valley met in the pool. And this one came down to the wire. The Sea Kings just get by the Cougars 86-84 to take the number one ranking. The Titans drew Goldenberg lines one to center field and we're going to have a play at the plate. The throw is cut off as Eric Hudding slides by the catcher to give his Titans the 2-1 victory. Entering the top five is Woodbridge visiting Tribuco and it's tied at two in the seventh until the Warriors' Matt Budgel delivers the game-winning hit. Last year's Co-Trinity League MVP, Amy Letourneau of Santa Margarita, had her way with Laguna Hills. She threw a complete game shutout, striking out everybody in her way. At number three, it's baseball in San Juan. Capistrano, that is, as Modern Day busted out the Wonder Bats and put the hurtin' on Jay Sarah in the seventh inning. A two-run homer by Jeremy Martinez is followed by a solo shot by Connor Armillo. Modern Day took it 7-2. The runner-up spot goes to Henry Owens of Edison, who had himself a game last Wednesday. He struck out 11 Marina batters in a 5-1 complete game victory. And the number one play of the week goes to the Lady Monarchs of Modern Day. They captured the county's only state basketball championship this year with a 58-43 victory over Carondelet. That's it for this week, I'm Jonathan Camus for OCVarsity.com.